I can insert content from other Office applications into a presentation. There are two ways to do this. I can link or I can embed. If I link the material, then when it's updated in a Word file or an Excel file, it will update in the PowerPoint presentation as well. If I embed the material, it's like taking a, a snapshot. It's static, it's fixed, it's not going to change. Let's look at both of these methods. First, I'll embed data from an Excel spreadsheet. On the Insert tab in the ribbon, in the text group, I'll select Object. When I do, the Insert Object dialog box appears. I'll click Create from File, and then I'll click Browse to go looking for the Excel spreadsheet. And there it is. I'll select the file and click OK. And now I'll click OK, OK again to close the dialog box and insert the spreadsheet data. Now I'll select the second slide and I'll insert the same Excel data, but I'll link it instead of embedding it. The procedure is almost identical. On the Insert tab, Object, Create from File, Browse, Excel Data, OK. But there's a subtle difference. This time, I'll check the link box before I click OK. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six on this page. And if I page up, one, two, three, four, five, six on that page. They look the same, don't they? But I'll modify the data in the spreadsheet and we'll see what happens. I'll change these numbers to different values. And I'll save the file. Now I'll go back to the PowerPoint presentation. Now, back in the PowerPoint presentation, how can you tell if an object is embedded or linked? Well, that's simple. Select it and right-click it. When I right-clicked the linked table, one of the options is Update Link, which I'll select. And when I do, the linked table updates with all of the new data that I typed in. If I go up to the Embedded table, select it, and right-click, Update Link isn't an offered option. If I had a lot of links in a presentation and I wanted to update all of them, I could do that without visiting each of them individually. I can choose File, Info, and over here on the right side of the screen, I could simply click Edit Links to Files. If I do that, it will update all of the links in the presentation. I can choose all of the linked files in the window, and then click Update Now. I click Close, and I'm done.